And welcome back to the channel today well today I wasn't going to make this video now now nothing bad has happened yet um, I wasn't going to film myself installing the last four B barns because you've already seen me install two of them and it's been catastrophe both times but today I've got to get it done and I decided that hey if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it fall did it really fall well if I start another video one day and there's four B barns sitting there that you hadn't seen me install are they really there right so so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you me doing it i'm going to cut in and out it's going to be an all-day process i'm not going to be a lot of talking in this video if i find anything strange or unique i'll show you but other than that this is uh this is the b barn install we're getting four more of them put out here i'll have two more to build when this is all done and then uh then we will have all b barns on the front row but today four more that'll make six so the first thing that i did this morning i uh asked my bride to come out here and help me we moved these four hives. Now these are the four strongest hives that I have. Um, we are going to leave the blue hive and the white hive for last um, because they're not very strong. Well, they're strong, but they're not as strong as these. Um, these hives are very strong and I just do not want these hives to swarm. Uh, so what I did is I had the uh, wife come out and help me and we moved these hives off the pad this morning. I'm gonna clean this up, make sure that these two pads are level and then she's going to help me carry out the bee barns, set them up They've got to go to karate this morning, and I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start getting these things set up. So that's the plan. Let's hope it doesn't change. It's 48 degrees outside, sunny day. It's only going to get to 60 today, so hopefully the cold air will keep the bees chilled out, so to speak. Um, but there you go. Nice day otherwise. No wind yet. I expect that there's going to be some. There's been some pretty much every weekend uh, thus far this year. So we will uh, we will see how it goes. But some of the girls are starting to fly already. There's the, uh, the green and the red bee barn. That's the, uh, that's the Christmas pad, I guess. But there you go. Let me, uh, let me get, the, get the bride and we will get these uh, other bee barns brought outside. Okay, there's one. I've got a, I've got a level. Seems like only yesterday I was doing this with my son. Now here I am revamping it. All right, so I have a new pad configuration. Um, originally these were five by four, which were uh, 20 blocks. Now it's six by three. So I'm only using 18 blocks, but I'm going to put the hives back in the back four, I guess the, the back four blocks of this side and this side, four blocks in between so that I can get through the hives because these hives are a lot wider than these hives. So I also am going to be keeping these hives back to the back and leave a foot in front of the grass so that grass and weeds don't get up here and allow the, the ants to bypass my ant moats. We don't want that to happen. Oh goodness. These things are heavier than they look.
All right, so it's time for the fun to begin. It's not fun, but we're gonna get it done. All right, well, the memory stick ran out. Sorry you missed it, but I did find and paint the queen and get her into the bottom box. A very smooth transition. The same with that one, very smooth transition. Nothing like last time. No bees piling out everywhere. It's, uh, it's gone pretty smoothly so far. Now let's just see if we can do the same thing to these two. All right, so here you go. We are done with three hives. Now, the sage hive and the crinoc bees, we found the queen, painted her, put her in the bottom. Very, very easy move. Um, the purple hive, I did not find the queen. I found a dead queen down in the bottom and she had been dead for quite some time. She was kind of dried out. Um, I saw some cats brood in there. It was kind of old, did not see a new queen in that box or any eggs. So I don't know whether or not the purple hive is queen right. In the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll get down to the bottom. If I don't see any eggs, I'll take some eggs from one of the other hives, put them in there, and we should be good there. Now, the goal is to find Juno. I want to, I want to do Juno nice and easy. I want Juno to go down in the box and be very, very happy. Very good queen. So let's, uh, let's do this last box. All right.
it, you know. Where are you, sweetheart? You're doing fine work. Fine work. Oh, there you are, you know. There you are, sweetheart. We got Juno. <laughs> Sit right there and dry, sweetheart. Get extra frames in here. Juno in the bottom. Will be, there you go. Right, well there you go the end of another adventure now it is the next morning it was so windy yesterday when I was finished that I couldn't film the ending to this video but I want to tell you what happened um, we were able to get the Queens all marked in three of the four hives that we did the uh, the sage the cry and Juno were all marked and put down on the bottom now the purple hive I could not find a live queen. I found a queen dead in the bottom. She'd been dead for a few days because she was kind of dried out and I did not see any new 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 brood in that hive so we may have a situation where the queen has just died in the purple hive and if that's the case we'll take the bees from the orange hive and we'll blend them in there and we will have a successful hive yet um, but I did have to shake the, the bees down into the uh, into the bottom of the purple hive before we put the uh, the, uh, the boxes on top. All the other queens were placed down in the bottom and everything should be good to go there. We didn't have the boiling over situation like we did on the other hives. Maybe I'm learning how to do this. And we have two more hives to go and then we're all done. So I've got to get, get to work building two more bee barns. Then I'll have the entire front row uh, filled with bee barns and everything will be right with the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. There wasn't a whole lot to it, but again, I couldn't just drop four bee barns into the uh, apiary and then one day show up and here they were. Because again, if a tree falls in the woods and no one hears it fall, did it really fall and did the bee barns really get installed? Well, yes, they did. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun here. So all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.